Well, hello there, friends. It's me, Lee, your cruise director, here aboard the beautiful, and I can't stress that enough, the simply stunning Carnival Venezia, which is currently sailing out of Manhattan Cruise Terminal in New York. I'm just following up after yesterday's announcement about the promotion to Fleet Cruise Director. I'm so excited and I'm also so grateful for everybody's comments and well wishes on the post yesterday. Oh, I've got to be honest, my phone, it literally exploded. So I'm still catching up and I thank you all for your patience. I'll try my best to acknowledge and, and respond to as many comments as I can, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, amidst the comments, I've had a lot of questions and I hope with this video I can help answer some of those. So what do I know? Well, I know that I've been promoted and that I'm likely to, to transition into my new role in the next six weeks or so. I've been told October. What does that mean? Well, I will regretfully be replaced in my position here on board Venezia and for my scheduled contract on board Celebration. There will be someone taking my place as cruise director on those ships. And for those of you that were looking forward to sailing with me and dare I even suggest maybe even booked based on me being the cruise director, I am sorry that I am gonna miss you. And I hope you can understand that this is a very exciting step in my career. I'm gonna join the ranks of Mike Pack, Chris Salazar, and the wonderful Erin. I'm gonna be filling the void that was left when Chris the Flying Scotsman Williams stepped away from the role. And as a team, we'll be traveling around the fleet supporting both the cruise directors and the Fun Squad team members that are out there, helping to nurture future talent and support current talent. Um, it's gonna be a shift of gears and a very different job for me because I will be stepping back from the stage in order to allow people to step into the spotlight and I can help celebrate them and support them in any way they may need. Of course, I'm not gonna hang up my microphone. There may be cause for me to step in and cover for a cruise or two somewhere around the fleet. And I'm thrilled that it's gonna give me travel opportunities. I've gotta say a personal thank you to Geraldine and my beautiful fiance. I'm sure if you follow this page, you know that not only am I madly in love, that I'm gonna get married next year in August. Um, it's bittersweet, my promotion, because while Geraldine supports me wholeheartedly, um, this does mean that we no longer get the contract that I was scheduled for together here on the Venezia. She's scheduled to join the ship on October the 4th as a part of the incoming Playlist Productions cast. And we were gonna get about four months living and working together. And um, my new job is gonna have me traveling a lot. So we don't get that time anymore. It's made even harder because Geraldine's birthday is in December. We would have had the holidays and the new year to cruise together, but I'm so appreciative of her support and patience and understanding for this uh, unexpected turn in our contracts together. Um, and my mum as well. Mum, thank you for supporting me. I love you so much. Nana, if Andy Carol, our mum is showing you this. I love you, I miss you, and I'll see you soon. Um, what will life look like for me? I'll be working typically three months and then I'll get a month vacation. So in the long run, this works out brilliantly for Geraldine and I, because it means we'll only be separated ever for three months at a time. But my hope is within those three months I, that our paths will be able to cross, that I may be able to make a operational visit that will cross over in ports of call, and that we'll get a chance to break it up a little more than when I was working as a cruise director. Um, it's also an elevated, position from my, my current role. And I've always been inspired by John and his career. And John served as a senior cruise director for the company. It's a role that's, that's no longer in place. And I think fleet cruise director is the nearest thing that we have. Um, so I'm thrilled on so many levels. Traveling around the fleet will hopefully give me the opportunity to take a few more photographs, to make a few more videos, to share the Carnival Funship experience fleet wide with you and um, who knows maybe I'll be able to get to travel to those ports that I once worked in. I don't know, I don't know what my job will be yet or where I'll have to go but maybe I'll get to the west coast or maybe one day, one day Australians 
I'll be able to get down there and see you. Nothing's promised, nothing's guaranteed, um, but I'm really excited what the future may hold. And I thank you for your support. I hope this video just sheds a little more light on the mysterious role that is Fleet Cruise Director, um, who I'm working with, what I'm doing, uh, and also the real life balance of what that means for me. Um, so yeah, from me, Lee, your Cruise Director, I hope you're well, and I really hope I see you soon. I won't have a set schedule that'll tell you where I'll be, but who knows, I might pop up on a cruise in the not too distant future. Much love. Thanks for watching.